sides on the floor, getting ready for the game ahead, and it's almost that time. Hello, fans. Welcome to this presentation of the NBA Sunday Night Action right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from Doris Burke on the sideline coming up. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups from point guard to center. This game should be a good one. And for the home team... to Samuels from outside off the mark he dishes it to Allen he kicks to Blake drains it from beyond the arc and they get on the board first looking to set the tone early back to Moore the dish to Samuels and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's his first trip to the line. You can't be first free throw is good. good on the second free throw. Kick it out! Kick it out! Number four. A three-pointer is right on target. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Passes it to Samuels. Moore right side. Shots up a three. Shot is off gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hey, Kevin. I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. He'd like them to concentrate defensively on slowing the game down. There's simply too much speed in their opponent, and to get into a run-and-gun type of game is not to their advantage, guys. All right, Doris. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. Gone two or three here to start out the game. Launches it. Moore with the steal. Leads him in there. Number two. Oh, that's blocked. Kind of a shaky first few minutes. Guys, five field goal attempts, only one made. Allen drives in. Here is Samuels. Off target from three-point range. Oh. Allen outside. And Blair kicks to Allen. Number four. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. First trip to the line for him here. And he knocks down the first one. Yeah. 
He's perfect from the line this time. Gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. And that one's good. They've been outstanding here in the first quarter. Great spacing, excellent passing, and the three-point shooting has been unbelievable. Feeds the Moore from outside the arc, and the shot is good. Moore's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Incredible. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Let's keep this thing going, guys. I love seeing a three-point battle like this. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Showing us a little force on that putback there. Well, there was no way he was going to let that chance slip away. No, sir. Now, you got to love his positioning as the shot went up. He anticipated that play. Now, here's more. He feeds it to Samuel. They get it back. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. One of the sweetest moves in the game, the reverse layup in traffic. And like you said, they're making it look easy out there. Off to the fast start from outside. Well, Kevin, shot making always makes the game look better, and it's much more enjoyable to call. And they're doing an outstanding job of finding each other, sharing the sugar, as we say, and knocking down the jump shot. Building that confidence. Uh -huh. And stolen by Blair. And here we go with Allen running it up the court. A step back shot here. Cannot hit. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. There's the pick. Here's Samuels. No luck. Nice D from Blair. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. It's good on the putback. He's got five. Excellent work to turn that miss into two points on the tap end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Mm, and great instincts, too. I mean, just anticipating where the ball is heading. Uh, great job there, beating everybody else to the ball. Ouch. Another miss to add to what's been a miserable game for him from the field. Stolen. And here comes the break, number 41. The fast break ends at the rim with a jam. Boy, the kind of moments you love to see. Excellent defense. Leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. Yeah, turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. Blair sinks the three-pointer. Blair's got six points. Boy, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. More outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Gone four of eight out of three point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside here in the first quarter. What a start they've gotten off to on the glass. I mean, they've come out banging. And when a game starts off like this, there is, there's an intimidation factor that comes into play. In this first quarter, around 38%, they're looking a bit creaky out there. Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Number two, carries the long run jumper. You know what, guys? He can really light it up from the perimeter at times. And here is Allen. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the score. It's up a three. Can't get it to go. 
Tell you what, boy, it's hard to watch when the guy gets good shots and misses them. He's missed everything this quarter. Away. Number four, nailed from three-point land. Eight points for him. 31% here early on, not getting the shots they'd like. Back to Moore. Let's the three fly. That's on you. But they recover it. Fires the three. Good. Now here's Allen. Tries it from nine. The shot will not go. And very quickly here in the first quarter, pronounced advantage for them on the glass. Yeah, that's a trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. A little bit of a defensive breakdown there. He's not the guy you want to leave open on the perimeter. You've got to stay attached to him. Number one. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. He's got eight. Now more. Number 10, knocks down the three ball. Now Allen. Number four. And it's wide right, hits off the rim. Now you can see why the defense is willing to let him take that shot. That's really not his range. A poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. Plenty of space, and he hits the jump shot. The more touches he gets, the more this lead will grow. He has just been unconscious this quarter. Takes a three. No luck. Being 39% in the early minutes of this game. Wide open. Cut the bucket. He's got 10. You know, it seems like when they've gone to him, he's really come through. And that's not something they should get away from. Watch outside. Number 41. And the three ball is good. By the way this defense is playing out there, I mean, they might as well not be there. It's five straight wide open threes. Yeah, that's way too many. I mean, typically teams will get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open threes, but they just haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, you know, these calls can be some of the toughest in the game for the officials. It all happened so fast, but I really think that was the right call. The defender was not really set in that situation. 125 left to play in the first quarter. Nice shot from the wing. You know, he's showing some kind of a killer instinct this quarter, trying to stretch this lead out. Being 39% in the early minutes of this game. Uncovered. No good off the back of the rim. Number four, defended by Schrader. Excellent D that time from Schrader. Takes the three, and that one's good. Nine points in the game so far. That's now a dozen straight points coming off wide open three points. You know what it looks like to me out there, guys? I mean, it looks like All-Star Weekend out there. We know how much defense is played there. It's actually defense during the All-Star Weekend, no D. He still hasn't been able to convert from the field. He's just struggling to find the shot. For three, good boy, can't good get boy. it to go. Now Allen. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. For the three. Gets it to go. Number two. And the three off target. Gets it off. No good. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. The away team up by four. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter.
And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Yeah, this team played an excellent first quarter offensively, moving the ball and getting a good flow to their offense. That's why you see those big assist totals. Yeah, very timely passing for them, Steve, and that's why they've been able to jump out to this lead. From past the arc, offensive rebound, number 34. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First one falls for him. He makes one of two that time. He did the important part at the line there. The heavy lifting, if you will. Made this a two-possession game. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Got the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Number four. Goes back up. Number 34. Cleans up the mess with the Savage put back flush. Now that's no run of the mill put back there. But the rebound and then the dunk one on top of the other. The one two punch. You gotta love it. He had a nice open look right there. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three point shot. And it's killing him. That's four of the last five baskets they've allowed have been three pointers. Outside Robinson. Number 34. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact from where I am. He shot two free throws in the game. Made one and missed one. The first one falls. both from the strike. How about the job they're doing drawing contact and giving themselves opportunities for free points at the line? My kind of basketball, Steve. No frills, straight ahead, physical play. Number 10 hits it from three-point range. Nine points in the game so far. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. That's good. And he answers right back with a three of his own. Well, you can see it. They're getting into it a bit. A little mano-mano here. One upsmanship taking place. Hey, to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Boy, you wonder what the score of this game would be if they weren't pulling down all these rebounds. Love what I'm seeing from them in the paint. No good. Gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Slater sinks the triple. That's three in a row, guys. Three three-pointers consecutively. These guys are just raining in shots. Yeah, the defenders can't be as soft as they've been on the perimeter there. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Well, I tell you, that's outstanding determination to track that rebound down and fight his way to the bucket for the throwdown. Clark, that is the effort they're going to need for the rest of this game. And not just on the offensive glass, Kevin, but all over the floor. And he's got his first free throw of the game.
And the first one drops. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Number four, Crane's the three-pointer. He's got 15. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. Gone three of four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. The offensive rebound. Full 24-second shot clock. The pass to Slater, the feed to Samuels. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Samuels got six. That's his first triple of the game. It was a dry first half for him from long range. Robinson kicks to Blair. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And they're on the break. Number one. And he misses the go-ahead basket. He set the pick. Here's Blair. And he dunks it after the pick frees him up. He can fly, can he? He'll make you forget he's a point guard sometimes. Yeah, fly. when he does decide to attack the basket, Kevin, he can do it with the best mm. of them. And this is the time to attack with, with these two teams locked in such a close game. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in this second quarter of play. Pass to Slater. Three-pointer. They get it again. But three. Shot is off. Gone five of 12 from the field here in the second. Here's the three. That's good. Blair's got 12 in the game. And, fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. Kicks to Samuels. Here's Slater. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Pass to Blair. Number one. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to double digits. Let's it go from the wing. No good from Slater. That's a shot he's got to hit. I mean, you don't get too many better looks from that range. Blair with it, now guarded by Slater. Number four. Tried to tip it in, but couldn't quite get it. Dishes it to Samuel. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. And he will take the ball right into the teeth of the defense. This is his third free-throw attempt of the game. That free-throw good from Samuels. Here in the second quarter, they've made all of their shots from the foul line. And that's a must-do when you're down. Number one, connects from three-point range. 13 points in the game. The defense sagged off, and, you know, he did not hesitate to rise up and bury that three. Here's Moore. Wide open shot is on the money. Gone 7 of 16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. Number one. And he's good on the three ball. That's two straight quick three-pointers they've allowed. They better not make it three straight, because now all of a sudden you're looking at a hot streak.
gone an even 50% from three-point range in the second quarter. Four for eight. Back to Moore from deep. And that one's good. Moore's got five points in the quarter. Here is Blair. He's got 12. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Schrader. That's excellent defense right there on the perimeter. He passes to Samuels. Misses the three. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. Number four, defended by Samuels. He dishes it to Blair. Trills the three-pointer. Blair's got 15. Wow, four here in the first half. They're going to need to do something different on defense to trap this guy and lock him up. Three-pointer. No good. Boy, he's got a nice-looking stroke. That almost went in. Yeah, a lot of times he'll hit that shot regardless of the defense. Number one, defended by Samuels. Down low, number 20. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. This is his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. 47% in the second quarter. And Moore kicks to Samuels. Buries it from three-point range. Samuels got nine points now in the quarter. That's his second shot from long range in this quarter, so he's starting to roll. Number 44. It's rebounded by Samuels. And the defense got away with a major lapse there. Pass to Slater. Shoots. Misses the wing jerk. And around 43% from the floor in the second quarter. He kicks it to Blair. It's Allen on the win. There's the three. Can't get it to go. Being a mediocre 41% in this one. The dish to Moore. And there's the pass to Slater. From deep. Shots good by Samuels. Samuels got 15. You look at them and what they're trying to do on offense, and, and I like it. I really do. I like the way they're using the entire court. They're spreading themselves out, and when you spread yourself out and make the extra pass, it gives you a chance to get good looks from behind the three-point line, and they're draining their chances. He continues to struggle from the field, but luckily for him and his team, his teammates have been able to pick him up and get the job done. And they're making this a game here, putting together a nice run. Making it a game. How about anybody's game? I mean, they've caught fire, and it's a toss-up right now, guys. Yeah, he is none too pleased with the play of his club out there, and looks like they need a little time to get things sorted out here. I don't know of any coaches that would be too happy if they just saw their team give up a run like this one. They're not having much success at all right now. Yeah, they need to shuffle their lineup a little bit. Try to find a combination that works. Offensive rebound, number 44. The layup off target. Gone only one of five shooting from the floor. The tray. Shots good by Samuels. 
Samuels got 18 points. They're hovering around 50% for the game in three-pointers. That's pretty good. But they've really elevated here in the second quarter. Back to Allen. Number four. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. 18 points for him. And he responds with his own three-pointer. Yeah, he came right back with his three. And uh, we're seeing a bit of uh, gamesmanship right here, Steve. This looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. Yeah, I don't know, Clark. I think there might be even more defense in warm-ups. I mean, this is kind of embarrassing. And that one's good. He's got 19. How about five three-pointers for him in this half? His stroke looks awesome. Feeds to Samuels. Puts up a three, and it's good. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Allen left side. Number 44. And he drops it in from the low post. Thing in the second quarter has been superb. 58% from the field. Back to Moore. Fires for three. The shot is off. Not the best shot. Long range and with a defender right in his space. And defensively, that's the kind of work he's known for. I mean, he loves to lock you up. Allen, that's good. 16 seconds left in the second quarter. He feeds it to Moore. The three ball. The shot misses. From half court. Hit. And the first half ends in a close one. The away team up three. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. Now, presented by Sprint. Glad you're with us for the nighttime edition of the Halftime Show. The away team so far is fighting for control. They're crashing the offensive glass with reckless intensity, tremendous hustle. And for the home club, it's been all hustle. Outstanding bench production. They've gotten a very nice lift, and that's made a huge difference for them on the scoreboard. And that's it for us here in the studio. Time to send it on back out to Kevin Harlan and the gang for the start of the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. It's been a clinic from Samuels. Well, the threes have been falling for him at a ridiculous rate. That first half was just amazing. And when that's the case here in the second, I think he's just got to keep spraying and splashing them. Allen for the three, and the officials call over the back. A little too aggressive there. Well, that's an aggressive play, trying to get that rebound. Maybe a little too aggressive. And it was totally unnecessary, Steve. He was in no position to get to that ball. He should have just conceded. Doing well, third 45%. Come get it, come get it. Number two, hits the three-point five. He's got 12. This seems like they've given up far too many points from the three-point shot today. A lot of open looks out there. I agree, Steve. The defensive rotations have been abysmal. Back to Allen. There's the feed to play. Number four. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Boy, his performance from long range has been incredible. I know that was your shot, Steve, and today it's his, too. Pass to Samuels. Expanding his range. You know, even though he's bite-sized compared to the big man on the floor, he's done some really tall work on the board. Allen kicks to Blair. Beyond the arc. That's good. Blair's got 18 points in the game. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Number 41. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. On two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Kicks it to Blair. Pass to Allen. Bangs home the trifecta. He's got nine. Their second half has started quite well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. Shoots it up. No good and tight defense there. Bothered that shot. 
Just an enormous advantage for them on the boards. Guys, the key to the lead, to me, has been they've dominated the glass. It's that simple. Number two. Up again. Slams it back in. He could have tipped it home, but he wanted to give this crowd something to remember. Dynamic work right there. Throw down that rebound. Yes, sir. Well, no need to back it out if you're in position for the dunk. The shot misses. Gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Makes the lead pass. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And the first one at the line is good. And so he hits both. Well, as far as the league's big men go, he's one of the very best at the foul line. Who's watching him? A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. He just couldn't shake loose. He had the defender draped all over him. Here's Moore. Hands it from downtown. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. They have to like what we're seeing from Samuels. He's dialed in from long range. They got to stay in his hip pocket and deny him the catch. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And shot is off. That's one he knows he should have made. Here's more. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Number four. And that time, also a missed shot. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Number 24. For the lead. And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. He is three for three from the free throw line. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. So he gets them both. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, sometimes it's contagious. Everybody starts to get comfortable in the last, and everything goes in the hoop. Gone four of nine from a four so far in the third. Dishes it to Samuels. Dishes it to Moore. Number two, defended by Allen. And Moore kicks to Samuels. Great oh, look, put off the mark. And around 41% on the night. Shot to stop the run. Rebounded by Moore. Moore's got his third rebound on the night. Moore left side. He dishes it to Samuels. From beyond the arc, can't hit. These are incredible rebounding numbers. I'm not sure if we've ever seen anything like this, Clark. Oh, that's for sure, Steve. I mean, a superhuman performance on the backboards. Well done. Good job threading that pass into the lane. I like his vision, guys. He sees everything. This game is going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see Come in a blowout, on. Kevin, or even a 
exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look and how you frustrated know. Steve is over there. Well, I just, uh, you know what, oh, just, just, come on. Yeah, I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up there. I mean, he threw it down with force. Here is Samuels. He's got 21. Back to Moore. It's picked off. Number four. Throws down the breakaway jam. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steel, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Now here's Moore. He's got 17. He passes to Samuel. Number two. Misses off the left iron. Thing is leaving something to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. And Blair gets it to go. Blair's got 21 in the game. You know, defensively, you cannot forget about him. He gave him a wide open look there. He kicks it to Samuels. There's the dish to Moore. Now the pass to Samuels. Moore shoots. Green for two points. Moore's got five points now this quarter. Here is Blair. He's got 21. Feeds it to Allen. Number four. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Once again, he's able to knock down the long-range jumper. He's on automatic. Just a brilliant game. Run 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. He feeds it to Samuel. This one for three. The shot is off been a tale of two halves our guys he was on fire from long range in the first half but not so much here in the second number four number 44 second shot opportunity and a foul called on the shot got him on the way up that time so he'll shoot two right here yeah he got whacked shouldn't be much debate on that one yeah that was as straightforward as it gets guys he's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now Free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. Gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Number 10. Drops in the tray. He's got 12. And the ball at 42%. Allen outside. Let's it go with a three. That's good. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Well, that's three of the last five makes uh, having been behind the three-point line. So, got to make some adjustments defensively. To answer back, but that three is off the mark. He's still looking for his first three-pointer of the second half after making just one in the first. Second chance shot, and the layup is up and in. He's got 21. Strong rebounding, and he's rewarded with the easy putback. From downtown. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. And 45% from the field since coming out of the locker room at halftime. No, no, no. The feed to Blair. From the arc. The shot is off. Being at a decent 44% clip here. Number one. They get the rebound. Tries again. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there.
and he makes the first. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Some great free throw shooting so far in this second half. I think they should keep trying to initiate contact and get back to the line until they start missing from there. But as it is, they're perfect so far, so keep it up. Great open look there. He's got 24. Of all the guys you want to leave open out on the perimeter, he is the absolute last guy on the list. Attention to detail. Know your personnel. Good. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. Allen outside, Blair. Number one. Very good with the triple. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he'll knock that down more often than not. Just five to shoot. Number 41. The three-pointer off the mark. 43% from the floor. Allen passes to Blair. Launches a three. Gets the bucket. 27 points for him. Well, he found the open man on the perimeter and got the ball to him. And they've had a tough time, Clark, scoring in the half court. Yeah, transition buckets have really saved them, really. You know, when you look at it, that's been their remedy. Yeah, I agree. They've got to rely on their defense because of that, Clark. If they can play D and force a long shot or a turnover, then they can get out and transition. That may be the only way they're going to score enough points to win here. Shoots from the corner. And an air ball on that one. Way off. Being 41% from the floor so far in the third. Back to Moore. But three... A second chance effort. Shot is no good. How about the effort we're seeing from him on the boards? He's already in double figures. Yeah, and more importantly, Steve, his rebounds are leading the team. Number 20. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. He's gone two for two at the line so far. good on the free throw. That's off as well. So he misses both. Kevin, it's disheartening to see them keep missing opportunities to extend the lead at the line. I mean, when you have a chance to put a team away from the line, you want to take advantage of that. You don't want to give them a chance to come back on it. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. The away team leading by five. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. Being about 42% so far. And Moore kicks to Samuels. Back to Moore. Shoots the three. That's good. Moore's got 11 points here in just the second half. This is unbelievable. What a shooting exhibition we're seeing out there today. There's the triple. The shot was off. Almost surprised that he had that much room to work with. Number two. He nails it. And we're tied up. Being about 42% so far. Fires the three. That's good. 30 points in the game. 
He's been working some magic out there today, guys. This lead has been largely his making. On, Number 10. They get it back. Here's Samuels, and it's blocked. You've got to like what they've been doing down there in the low post part. I do. I love it. Their rebounding has been outstanding. So important in a tight game. Now, here's Blair. Number 20. Oh! He makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And hammering down with the two-handed slam. Well, they already had him staggered, and now all of a sudden they're throwing some haymakers. on one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And the pass goes out of bounds, and they'll turn it over. Way too loose on that inbounds pass. Gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Number four. No good from outside. Now, here's more. Pass to Samuels. He tries for three. The shot, no good. Now, here's Boyer. Defense right on him. Off target at the rim. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. And they right in his face. Samuels kicks to Moore. It's good from long range. Moore's got six in the quarter. Wow. What can you say? It's Allen on the win. Fires from deep. Gets it to go. Looked like there was a little confusion there as to who was supposed to be guarding him. Gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Kicks it to Samuels. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And are they ever working inside? Good job on the glass. Excellent job on the glass, Steve. I agree. I mean, they're battling in there. They're fighting. They're scrapping. They're clawing. And they're getting the job done. His three-pointer is off the mark. I'll tell you what, the defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, he can't dial it in from deep this half at all. Don't let him shoot that. Number four. Good on the triple. He's got 31. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. Back to Moore. Dishes it to Samuel. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Now he's missing a lot of shots out here offensively. He just has not been able to produce in this quarter. And a nice job there defensively, just getting a hand up enough to bother the shot. Yeah, that was very nice. Impressive. It made it a much more difficult shot. Hits the bucket. This guy is simply having a great game from outside. Gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Number one. Offline with his three. To the inside, number 24. And here is Allen. Number four. Kills it from outside. He's got 34. Here's more. And a chance here to hit 30 on the game. Well, I tell you what, Steve, he's really scoring well, isn't he? No, nah, making it look easy, really. I mean, he's just having his way offensively. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hi, guys. I got a chance to hear what the home team head coach was saying to his players. He told the squad, now is the time when we turn it on and leave them in the rear view mirror. It won't be easy, but guys, I know we can put them away. Let's see if they can deliver, Kevin. Inside, and he lays it straight in. Yeah, they're going to need some help there defensively. That matchup is going to be a tough one to deal with. Gone, 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. And Blair kicks to Allen. Fires the three. And good on the basket. Book it. 33 points for him. A little confusion defensively. Yeah, you know what? He sent the D a little message with that three. 
for three. There's a rebound, number 24. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. And he's doing a great job at the charity strike. It's easy to overlook, but those freebies can make the difference. Gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. That's tipped. Number four. Number 44. No good. Well, that's another good rebound for him. Hasn't mattered at all that he's given up some inches to a few of the other guys on the floor. That's a blocking foul, and he'll shoot free throws. And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. Allen with it. Pass to Blair. All sorts of time. Perfect on the shot. Swishes it through. He has 35 in the fourth quarter has looked shabby 38 percent has it to more from downtown another shot he takes it up and lays it in but the defense just looked a little lazy on the glass there yeah nobody boxing out that's inexcusable gone seven to 15 from the floor here in the fourth right around 46 47 percent but Trey the shot no good Kind of rare to see him come up empty on a wide open look. He dishes it to Samuels. Good on the three point shot. Samuels got 28. In 43% for the game. He kicks to Blake. Lets it go with a three. But they'll get another chance. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. And the first one drops. Second free throw, no good. Being 43% for the game. Number two, the wing jumper off target. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Number one, bullseye. 37 points for him. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. And here is more. He passes to Samuel. Off the mark and a bad shot there. 44% in the fourth. The offense with some ups and downs. Allen outside. This one for three. It's rebounded by Samuels. Samuels got eight rebounds in this game. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. That's good. Tell you what, he's had an excellent game, and they're going to have to continue to rely on him if they're going to come back.
goes Allen. Now the dish to Blair. Number one. And right away, they answer with a three-pointer of their own. He has 40. Now he's playing with an edge here, playing extremely well offensively here in the second half. He had 42% in this final quarter. Number two. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Well, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Now more after the missed three from Blair. It's rebounded by Blair. To the middle, number 44. The second chance effort. And around 41% on the night. One thirty-two left to play in the final quarter. Blocked. It's Allen on the win. And it's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And the ball goes out of bounds. It's turned over. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. left in the fourth quarter. Number 24. Another strong rebound, just like we've gotten used to seeing from them today. Yeah, one or two more of those, and this lead will be double digits. There's the pass to Blake. Allen. They grab the wrong miss. From down in the low post, it goes. Very nice pickup of the offensive rebound. And once he gets his hands on it, you know it's going back up and back in. Boy, look at the rebound totals. He is absolutely dominating out there. Well, that's been something to watch. My goodness. Number 44. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. Drops the first one, and that'll push the lead to double digits. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And that ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those free throws. Number one. Number ten. Trying to get back on track. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Good on the first, and that brings them to within 10. That's also good, so he hits both free throws.
just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. Sure can, because they've earned the win. Double by Schrader. Number one. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Just look at how quickly their lead has grown over the course of the last few possessions. Boy, they've really saved their best for last, haven't they? Oh, hit it, baby! Launches a three, gets it to go. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long and thanks for joining us as we leave you with the Jordan player of the game.